so just keep breathing here with your own breath or you can just lift your head up if it's easier for you so keep breathing pull the belly button in in nine eight Since you are welcome to Pilates with Henna and welcome to day 2 of the 30 days of Pilates self journey and this is going to be the first official workout we're going to do together this year so it's going to be something to remember and I want you to do a pure body strength today to help you activate all the muscles on your body and also tone your total body so if you're ready just run your mat and let's do it together Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to sit tall with your back in neutral. Pull the belly button in and lengthen your spine. Feel your body connecting to the mat through your sitting bone here. Close your eyes, inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And a couple more breaths here, inhale. And exhale. I want you to shift all your focus totally on this moment and this room and we are here to practice the workout to strengthen our body and to start a new year so inhale and exhale and slowly open your eyes rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse And now start to bring your head to one side and to your opposite side. Feel the side of your neck is stretching. Keep breathing here with your own breath. Pull the belly button in. Lengthen your spine still and start to rotate your head around your neck. Inhale halfway and exhale halfway three rounds. Slowly with your breath and reverse. Just slightly pull the belly button in to support your lower back and slowly bring it back to the center. Now I wanted to inhale and elevate your shoulders and exhale, bring your shoulders down. Inhale, lift and exhale down in three, two, and last one. Now slowly bring your arms to the side and shoulders down here. Start to make a little pose with your arms. We're going to warm up a little bit before we start the main workout. In three, two and one slowly bring your arms up to the ulana here now palms facing to the front and shoulders far away from your ears inhale close your arms and exhale open or you can reverse the breath if it's easier for you so keep breathing pull the belly button in here and three two now last one and slowly lengthen your arms to the side again inhale lean on one side and exhale, come back, side bending. We're gonna feel your waist is lengthening. Keep breathing here, try to open your shoulder, your chest to the back. Inhale, and exhale, lengthen your arms. Keep breathing, your shoulders far away from your ears. And five, to the other side. Four, belly button in, squeezing your thighs. If you can, if not, it's totally fine. Just Really listen to your body and keep breathing to the other side. Now last one, inhale and exhale, come back to your opposite side and back to the center and start to rotate your shoulders fully to four directions again. In five, four, three, two, and last one, reverse. Four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to allow yourself to come to on four position. So open your arms, shoulders apart and your legs hip width apart. Now imagining that you have two eyes on the elbows rotate to face each other. Now bring your shoulders down between your arms and then exhale lift. Lengthen your spine. We're going to do shoulders awareness here. Pull the belly button in and if you can try to contract your pelvic floor muscles by imagining that you're trying to stop the urine flow here. Keep breathing, inhale up and exhale down in five, four, three, two, lengthen your arms and last one and slowly bring it back. Articulate your spine, shoulders far away from your ears and look up 
and then around your spine, chin your chest, pull the belly button all the way in. Inhale. And exhale. And try to put your shoulders far away from your ears when you articulate your spine. And then roll your spine, chin your chest. Each vertebrae breath at a time. And then come back two more times here. Inhale. And exhale. And the last one, articulate shoulders down and hold it here for three, two, and one. Belly button in, round your spine, upper spine a little bit higher if you can. And slowly bring it back to the center, shake your hips a little bit, inhale, delete your nose, rotate your ankles here. And five, four, three, two, and one, reverse. Keep breathing. All right, and now you want to allow yourself to keep your heels and your knees together here. Pull the belly button in and tuck your feet. Now shoulders far away from your ears, eyes on the elbows, rotate to face each other still. And lift your knees up and bring it down. You can feel free to open your legs here with the part if it's easier for you. So squeeze in your thighs, pull the belly button in, and we're gonna do it 10 times together. So inhale 10, exhale down, nine. Keep breathing, eight. Pull the belly button in, seven, six, and five, four, Three, two, and the last one. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. And now put your forearms down to the mat, engage your core here. Open your legs here with the part. Pull the body button in. Now make sure your shoulders are on top of your elbows here. Inhale and lift your knees up. Exhale, bring it down. Now we're going to do it slower, a little bit slower than the previous one. So inhale, lift, and exhale down. Contract your pelvic floor muscles and engage your core here by pulling the belly button toward the spine. So keep breathing. And eight, seven, slowly inhale, long inhalation and exhale deeply to your mouth. Good. And five, four, three, two, and last one, lift and slowly come to try pose. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your belly here. So open your legs a bit apart and make a pillow under your forehead. Now I wanted to inhale, put your shoulders put all the way down towards your hips, lengthen your spine and try to lift one leg up and start to rotate your ankle here. So squeeze in the thighs and when you do this, your hips do stick down to the mat and keep breathing. In five, four, three, two, one, reverse. Four, three, two, one, and slowly bring your leg down to your opposite side, rotate your ankle. Three, two, one, and reverse. In five, four, three, two, and one slowly bring your legs down. Now I wanted to inhale and lift each leg at a time up and bring it down. If you can, you can try to bring both legs up at a time to challenge your core and your back more. But make sure when you do that, your hips do down to the mat and lengthen your back, keep your back in neutral position. And then do it 10, squeeze in the thighs, nine, eight. Try it a little bit higher and just shoulders split still press down towards the hips here and five more times with your own breath four three inhale lift exhale through your mouth down and up and down and two and last one lift and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips now when you squeeze your body squeeze your thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscles here Bend your knees and keep the toes together. The shoulders far away from your ears. I wanted to inhale, lengthen your neck and lift both legs up at the same time and then bring it down again. Squeeze your body, squeeze your thighs, engage your core here. Inhale, lift, exhale down and 10, 9, 8, 7, pull the belly button in, 6 and 5, 4, Three, engage your core as much as possible and really need to stabilize your torso here. Six and five, four, three, two, 
and last one lift now bring your hands neck to your chest and close your elbow to the back lengthen your spine and i want you to use your hands put your whole palms down and push up so your torso lift and then down keep breathing lengthen your neck and make sure you always close your elbows towards the spine press your hips down to the mat and lengthen look down to the mat as well keep breathing we're gonna do it 10 times in total so inhale up and exhale down and nine eight pull the belly button all the way in squeeze your booty muscles and stabilize your hips inhale and exhale and six keep breathing five engage your core as much as possible four three two and last one lift and slowly bring your torso down shake your hips in your deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready i want you to rest your head on your hands again shoulders push down towards the hips activate your feet here and engage your core now lift your leg up and then open to the side and lift your opposite leg up open to the side and bring it back at the same time and then down to the mat so start with your right first and lift your leg left leg up and back to the center and down and then left up first open right up and open and bring it back together and then down again we're gonna do it seven more times with your own breath so keep breathing inhale lift and exhale bring it back to the center and up and up and back and down squish your body muscles here and keep breathing here with your own breath pull the belly button all the way in very good and you don't have to lift your legs so high just really listen to your body and your lower back here only bring your legs to the point that you still feel like your back in new your back in comfortable here so keep breathing and back to the center squeezing the thighs and two and last one lift open come back and down and shake your hips and hold deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i want you to allow yourself to lengthen your arms over your head now lengthen your spine and shoulders back to keep your shoulders far away from your ears inhale lift your arm and opposite leg up exhale bring it down to the other side engage your core as much as possible we're gonna do it 10 times here each side with your own breath and nine keep breathing make sure you stabilize your torso and you can bring your head up and down with your arms and your legs at the same time so keep breathing pull the belly button in inhale and exhale and nine eight to the other side seven to the other side and six really pull the belly button towards the spine for more support with your lower back and five four three keep breathing two and last one lift to the other side and slowly bring it down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to try to challenge yourself a little bit here by lift both arms and legs up and slowly bring it down engage your core we're gonna do it 10 times here so inhale up and exhale down imagine like a superman here keep breathing nine eight seven inhale and exhale six inhale and exhale and five more times with your own breath keep breathing and lengthen your arms lengthen your legs lengthen your whole spine belly button all the way in and three two and last one lift and slowly bring your arms down legs down shake your hips in here deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i want you to allow yourself to 
put your hands next to your chest and lift your legs up activate your feet shoulders far away from your ears engage your core and start to beat your heels 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 slowly bring your legs down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and slowly come back to try pose open your knees wider lengthen your spine shake your hips and deep inhale and exhale and one more deep breath and exhale and slowly come back to sitting position all right and now i'm going to allow yourself to lengthen your legs open your legs a bit apart here lengthen your arms to the front and palms facing down to the mat now exhale lengthen and pull the belly button in reach forward and slowly chin to chest pull each vertebra at a time down shoulders down you're going to do it 10 times with your own breath so keep breathing always keep your feet activated and pull the belly button in squeeze in the thighs nine and come back slowly lengthen shoulders down eight seven and six reach as far as you can always keep your feet dorsiflex five pull the belly button all the way in and roll slowly chin to chest each vertebra at a time three keep breathing try to reach a little bit further and really use your core to roll back very good and two more times here with your own breath now last one inhale and exhale reach inhale come back and shoulders down hands down shake your legs and then bend your knees open your legs a bit apart now once you inhale and bring your arms all the way towards the front palms facing each other now slowly lift your arms up and when you bring your arms to the front lean backward engage your core and work your core here and then lengthen again so when we do this i want you to make sure you press your feet down to the mat and your whole torso move back lengthen your spine your legs and your hips stabilize your feet press down to the mat for more support so engage your core as much as possible inhale and exhale lift and six more times stay with your own breath lift it all the way up and five four belly button in three keep breathing and two more times here now last one exhale and inhale slowly bring it back shake your hips inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now i wanted to allow yourself to come lengthen your legs and dorsiflex with your feet keep your feet together and put your hands behind your hips close your elbow to the back now i want you to engage your core here lean backward soften your elbows until your forearms all the way down to the mat so pull the belly button in now inhale and i want you to lengthen shoulders on top of your elbows and lengthen lift your leg up and down to the other side really pull the belly button in and put your shoulders down towards the mat keep breathing and 10 to your right 9 keep breathing 8 to the other side 7 and chin to chest always look towards the front to protect your neck 6 5 inhale and exhale to your left come back 4 squeeze your thigh try to lengthen your leg all the way 3 try to lift as high as you can and bring it down with control now i want you to squeeze your thighs contract your pelvic floor muscles here now last one inhale lift and exhale down to the other side and slowly bring it back open your legs if the part here i want you to press your whole forearms down to the mat now inhale and try to lift your hips up and exhale bring it down 10 times so with your own breath so inhale lift and exhale down nine eight pull the belly button in try to lift your hips as high as you can always make sure that your shoulders far away from your ears six 
and five, four, belly button all the way in, try to press your whole forearms down for more support, squeezing the thighs, squeeze your booty muscles, tap the tailbone forward if you can, and three, two, the last one lift and slowly bring your hips down and let yourself to lie all the way down on your back so from here I want you to inhale and lift your legs up to 90 degrees here arms open to the side now inhale lengthen one leg to the front and then switch to the other side engage your core as much as possible if you can speed it up a little bit 10 9 Try to lengthen and lower your leg if you want more challenge with your core. Pull the belly button in, six and five. Lengthen and keep your back in neutral, hips neutral. Press your hips down, belly button in, three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. Now press your feet down, open your legs a bit apart, and I wanted to draw your hips all the way up, tuck the tailbone forward. Now this time, slowly rotate your hips from left to right. 10, 9, pull the belly button in, 8, engage your core as much as possible. 6, and 5, 4, squeeze your thighs, 3, 2, and the last one. And back to the center, draw your hips all the way down, shake your hips, inhale, delete your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth and lift your leg up to 90 degree again. Activate your feet. Now inhale and bring your leg down and switch to the other side. Now make sure you keep your knees at 90 degree here and squeeze your thighs. Go a little bit further, but make sure you always keep the same angle on your knees here. So inhale down and exhale up and 10. Squeeze your thighs. Really press those hip bones down to the mat. So keep your back in neutral here, your hips stabilized, and only your legs are moving. Very good. And five, four, pull the belly button in. Three, two, shoulder blades down for more support. Stabilize your torso here, and slowly hug your knees to your chest. Shake your hips, rotate your ankles, and reverse inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Now lengthen your legs all the way towards 60 degree here and then I want you to lift your head up now if you want to challenge more with your core I want you to just length lower your legs here and arms along your body now start to pumping your whole arms and inhale two three four five exhale two three four five if you want to make it easier just bend your knees to 90 degree we're gonna do it 10 times here inhale and exhale and one fist distant from your chin to your chest. Lift your chest a little bit higher to feel your core here. Use your hand to support your head if you need to. And stick your lower back down to the mat. And eight. Seven. Six. Five. Three, contract your pelvic floor muscles here, squeezing your thighs, and two, last one, head down, shoulders dark, and knees to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, and shake your hips a little bit, pull the belly button in, and I want to press your feet down again, arms along your body for more support, now open your legs as wide as you can, Tap your tailbone forward, draw your hips all the way up, and hold it here. Squeeze your booty muscles, and then release. Again, squeeze your booty muscles, squeeze your thighs, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. And tuck your tailbone forward, draw your hips all the way up, and now slowly bring your hips down. 10 times there with your own breath. Inhale, lift, and exhale down, engage your core as much as possible. To make it easier, feel free to just open your legs a bit apart, and then come back slowly. So make sure you press your whole feet down, and keep your legs parallel to each other. 
your knees facing up to the ceiling. Inhale deeply to your nose all the way up. And exhale deeply to your mouth. And six, keep breathing each vertebra at a time. Squeeze your booty muscles and slowly come back. And five, inhale. And exhale. Four, belly button all the way in. Slowly bring it back. And three more times to get your own breath. And exhale. Two, keep breathing. Now last one, inhale all the way up and hold it here. Now I want you to slowly lift your heels up and then bring it down 10 times, stay with your own breath. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, seven, belly button in. Six, squeeze your body muscles, squeeze your thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscles here. Reach your hand towards your heels for more support. Shoulder blades down. And two, now last one slowly. Heels down, hips down, each vertebra at a time. Shut your hips, pull the belly button in again. And open your legs a bit apart and press your whole feet down to the mat. Now again, open your arms to the side and tuck your tailbone forward, draw your hips all the way up. Now inhale and slowly rotate your hips to one side and lift your heels up and come back to the opposite side. Lift your heels up and bring it back. Engage your core here as much as possible. Pull the belly button in, squeeze in the thighs. Very good, eight. To the other side, seven. And come to the other side, squeeze in the thighs. And six, keep breathing. Five, contract your pelvic floor muscle here. Four. Shoulder blades down. Three, pull the belly button in. Really work your core here and feel your oblique twisting at the same time. Two. And the last one. And slowly back to the center. Draw your hips all the way down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to press your feet down, lift your head all the way up and use your hand to support your head. Now open your elbows wider here. I want you to inhale and exhale, reach your torso up and then down. Engage your core as much as possible. We're gonna do it nine, 10 times here with your own breath. So inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, down, and nine. Come back, eight, seven. Engage your core as much as possible, six, five. Pull the belly button in, four, three. Very good, two. And the last one, lift and slowly bring your torso down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, open your arm to the side again, lift your legs up to 90 degree again. Now inhale and open your legs, and exhale, bring it back. Inhale, and exhale, and nine, keep breathing. Now make sure you keep the same angle on your knees and your hips here, 90 degree and 90 degree. Very good, keep breathing here, open, and then come back. And five more times to with your own breath. Stabilize your torso. And four, three, pull the belly button in two. And last one, open. And back to the center. Lengthen your legs all the way up. And then bring one leg down. Use your hand to hug your knees here. Lift your head off the mat. Inhale and exhale, switch to the other side. Engage your core as much as possible. Keep breathing or you can Lift your hands all the way up towards your ankles if you can. Otherwise, just under your knees is totally fine. Just listen to your body and keep breathing. And 10, 9, pull the belly button in. Stick your lower back down to the mat. 8, 7, dress up, chin your chest. And pull the belly button all the way towards the spine. And 3, Two, and last one. And slowly bring your head down, hug your knees to your chest. Shake your hips, you know, deeply to your nose. Rotate your ankles, and then reverse. All right, now you want to allow yourself to lean on one side. And you're gonna do side lift here. So hands support your head, shoulders on top of your elbows. And now slowly bend your bottom leg here and lengthen your top leg. 
Now, hand, the other hand behind your head here. And I want you to make sure you really engage your core, lift your waist up and lift your hips as high as you can and then come back 10 times with your own breath. Inhale and exhale, nine, eight. Try to lift your hips as high as you can and really engage your core. And six, five, four, belly button in, three, two, and last one, lift, and slowly bring it down. Now for more challenge, I wanted to lengthen both legs and your top leg in front of your bottom one. Open your hip with the part and pull the belly button in here. I wanted to inhale, and you can put your hand on the other hand for more support, or you can just bring your hand behind your hip again, uh, behind your head again. So inhale, lift your hips up, and exhale, bring it down in 10 times, take your own breath. Inhale, and exhale, nine, keep breathing, eight, Make sure you press your whole hand, your whole forearm down to the mat for more support. Seven, six, and five, four, three, two. Now last one, lift and slowly bring it down to the other side here. So again, forearm down to the mat and bend your bottom leg, hand behind your head, waist up, belly button in, and lift your hips and down 10 times, inhale, and exhale, nine, keep breathing, eight, pull the belly button in, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and the last one, and slowly bring your hips down, and again, lengthen both legs, top leg in front of your bottom one, pull the belly button in, and again, lift, and down, and 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hips down. Come to try pose. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to come to own four position again. All right? Now open your arms, shoulders apart and your legs tip apart again. And now inhale, slowly tuck your feet, lift your hips as high as you can and start to walk your legs, walk your heels here. Inhale, put your shoulders far away from your ears, lengthen your spine, lengthen your neck. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5, 4, 3, 2, and the last one and slowly walk your hand all the way towards the front here. So inhale, and I want you to bend your knees to sit down and then lengthen it up 10 times with your own breath. So keep breathing, inhale, and exhale, and nine. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Eight, seven, keep breathing, six, and five, Go a little bit deeper if you can, but really listen to your body. Four, three, two, now last one, lift, and slowly bend your knees down. Come all the way to tripod, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, now the next movement, I wanted to put your forearms down to the mat. You can interlace your finger or you can just put your whole palms down here. So bend one knee, lengthen one leg, engage your core, inhale and lift your leg up. Exhale, bring it down, inhale, lift and exhale down in nine, eight, seven. Make sure your shoulders far away from your ears and on top of your elbows here in five, four, Belly button in three, keep breathing two, and last one. Now to the other side here. Lengthen, stabilize your torso, stabilize your hips, and lift and down. Dorsi flex with your feet, and keep breathing. Eight, seven, belly button in six, squeezing the thighs, and four. Three, squeeze your booty muscles, two, and then last one, lift, and slowly bend your knees, come to tripod pose again. Inhale deeply through your nose, 
and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready lie all the way down on your belly again now this time i want you to inhale and interlace your fingers towards the front of your chest shoulders far away from your ears and lengthen your neck look towards the top of the mat now open your legs a bit apart here inhale and exhale double tap with your knees and then come back to the other side so exhale inhale and exhale and inhale 10 times so each side with your own breath to the other side and nine keep breathing eight to your right seven to the other side six and pull the belly button in five squeeze your booty stabilize your hips now your hips will be stabilized if you squeeze your booty and squeeze your pelvic floor muscles and pull the belly button in so your core is totally engaged here and double tap and three to your opposite side now two more times each side here with your own breath last one and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right and now i want you to allow yourself to rest your head on your hand again shoulders far away from your ears and lift both legs up at the same time activate your feet and then open your leg to the side and then start to make a little pulse here so keep breathing 10 9 8 7 stabilize your torso if you can press your whole forearm down to the mat 6 and 5 4 3 two and one now i wanted to start stabilize your hips by just pump at the same time so squeeze your thighs pull the belly button in and ten nine eight seven six and five four three two and last one slowly legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth inhale lift and exhale down and nine keep breathing eight seven six belly button in five four three two and last one lift and slowly bring it down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now i want you to allow yourself to bend your knees here keep the toes together and now slowly inhale and lift your whole torso and legs up at the same time and then come back and make sure when you do that shoulders all the way towards the hips we're going to do 10 times together now inhale lift and exhale down slowly with your own breath and use the breath to control the movement inhale up nine exhale down eight seven activate your feet six keep breathing and five four belly button in three two and last one lift and slowly bring your heels down your knees down shake your hips inhale rotate your ankles and then reverse inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i want you to allow yourself to put your forearms down tuck your feet again and now inhale lift your whole torso up and come to forearm plank here shoulders on top of your elbows here inhale and bend your knees down and exhale lift it up inhale and exhale and eight seven six and five four belly button in three two and last one and lengthen and bend and slowly allow yourself lie all the way down on your elbows again now hand neck to your chest close your elbows all the way to the back lengthen your spine tuck your feet here and look down to the mat engage your core as much as possible now i want you to press your hands down and press your whole torso up hold it here for five four three two one and slowly bring your torso down again show your hips and we're gonna, we're gonna do it eight more times like this with your own breath so keep breathing inhale lift and exhale slowly bring it down and nine and exhale slowly eight seven 
really listen to your body and if you feel like it's easier for you you can just put your forearms here and lift your whole torso up and then bring it down so just do what feel good for you and then lift and now pull the belly button in I'm going to do it five more times with your own breath so inhale and exhale slowly four three and two make sure you don't make any tension in the shoulders here just put all the way towards the hips and two more times take with your own breath now last one lift hold it here for five four three two and one slowly bring it down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready just open your arms 90 degree here now rest your head rotate your head to one side and rest your head on the mat here press your whole arms down put your shoulders towards the hips and then inhale lift one leg up and then bring it down to the other side and we feel like we're walking in the air so just keep breathing here with your own breath or you can just lift your head up it's easier for you so keep breathing pull the belly button in in nine eight seven belly button in six squeeze your booty squeeze your thighs and try to lengthen your legs all the way towards the back two and last one and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips in your deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right now you want to allow yourself to lift your head up hand behind your head shoulders down towards the hips and chest open now you want to inhale and slowly rotate your torso to one side until your elbows touch the floor and then rotate to your opposite side engage your core as much as possible and make sure you stabilize your hips here your whole legs your feet and keep breathing activate your feet if you can only your shoulders moving and always keep your shoulders far away from your ears i'm going to do it five to the other side four and to the other side three keep breathing here with your own breath two now last one and back to the center and slowly bring your torso down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right now i want you to allow yourself to lengthen your arms over your head again and now this time i want you to inhale lift your whole arms and legs up and start to open your leg to the side your arms to the side and then come back engage your core as much as possible i'm going to do it 10 9 make sure you lift your chest a little bit higher and lengthen your neck to look down to the mat to pull the belly button in eight seven six keep breathing five and four three two and last one and bring it down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply to your mouth one more deep breath and exhale and when you're ready um over your head again lift your legs up and at this time i want you to feel like you're pulling some rope towards the hips the back so your arms all the way towards the back and then lengthen lift your legs up activate your feet and only your arms are moving here so keep breathing keep your arms parallel to the floor and nine eight seven six and feel free to come back to try pose anytime if you need more support with your lower back and then take a rest and then come back you can pause the video anytime so keep breathing three two now last one and back to the center come to try pose Pull the belly button in shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and when you're ready allow yourself to come lie all the way down on your back again all right and now you want to allow yourself to open your legs a bit apart press your feet down arms along your body and tuck the tailbone forward now inhale draw your hips all the way up and your core and hold it here now this time imagining that you have a ball between your thighs i want you to squeeze into the balls to the ball and then come back so inhale and exhale release so keep breathing here squeezing your thighs contract your pelvic floor muscles and keep breathing in eight seven reach your hand towards the heels for more support and shoulder blades all the way down to the mat 
four, three, keep breathing, two, now last one, open, and then release, and then slowly draw your hips down, shake your hips, and when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to draw your hips all the way up one more time, and now this time, open one knee to the side without changing the movement from your hips, so only your leg is moving, and then come back to your opposite side, and back to the center, squeeze your thighs and activate your feet here, squeeze your booty muscles. I want you to do it 10 times each side here with your own breath. And nine, keep breathing, chin to chest and look towards your knees. Eight, to your opposite side. Seven, keep breathing, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale, come back. Six, belly button all the way in. Five, inhale deeply and exhale, four, very good, three and two, try to reach your hips a little bit higher so you're going to feel your booty muscles here. Now last one, to the other side and back to the center, draw your hips down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to lift your legs up to 90 degrees and activate your feet here. Now inhale and lift, bring both legs further away, all the way down to the mat if you can and then come back. Now, feel free to just go halfway and then back to the center if you feel like it's easier for your lower back and for your core here. So inhale and exhale. Press your whole arms down, your legs down. Keep breathing, nine and eight. Pull the belly button in, seven, inhale and exhale, six, Squeeze your thighs and keep your back in neutral. Five, four, belly button all the way in. And three, keep breathing. Two, and last one. And back to the center, hug your knees to your chest. Shake your hips, rotate your ankles, and reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to lift your legs up to 90 degrees and activate your feet one more time. Hip 90, 90 degrees here. Open your arms to the side. Now keep your toes together. Try to open your knees without open. Keep your toes far away from each other. Just always stick your toes together, your heels together, squeezing the thighs. And now start to inhale. Bring your knee, bring your knees towards the chest, and exhale. Move it away nine more times with your own breath so keep breathing and eight pull the belly button in back in neutral position here and move away seven keep breathing here with your own breath six belly button all the way in and five in with your core now the lower your leg is the further you move away the more challenge your lower abs is. So I want you to challenge yourself a little bit, but really listen to your lower back here. We don't want to arch your back, we want to keep your back in neutral position. And come back, and five, four, belly button in, squeezing the thighs. Three, always keep your feet activated. And two more times, stay with your own breath. Inhale, and exhale. Now last one. And slowly close your knees together, shake your hips, and Hug your knees to your chest, rotate your ankles, and then reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to just lift your legs up to 90 degrees here again. Open your legs a bit apart, and activate your feet, hands on your thighs. Now try to lengthen one leg all the way toward the ceiling, and then switch to the other side 10 times with your own breath. So make sure you put your hands here and don't let your um, knees towards the chest more. Just push it here to limit and to try to always lengthen your legs without moving your knees closer to your chest. So keep breathing. And six, five, inhale. And exhale, come back to your opposite side. Four, belly button in. And three, keep breathing. Two, lengthen to the other side. Now last one, lengthen. Last one, to the other side, and bring it back your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to lengthen both legs up to the ceiling. Open your arms to the side, open your legs, and then bring it back to the center. Inhale, and exhale. Squeeze your thigh, try to lengthen all the way 
as much as you can. Make sure you press your shoulder blades down and again you can put your hands on your thighs to make sure the angle on your hips are 90 degrees. So keep breathing, inhale open, exhale bring it back and five, come back, four, belly button all the way in and three more times here with your own breath, two, now last one, open and come back, high up your knees to your chest, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready I want you to lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling again activate your feet and then slowly open your arms to the side now inhale and I want you to stabilize your hips here try to rotate your knees from your left to your right 10 9 engage your core as much as possible 8 7 feel your legs are shaking I love this 6 and five, pull the belly button in. Four, three, two, and last one. And back to the center of your knees, your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose, rotate your ankles, and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, and when you're ready, I want you to lift your legs up to 90 degrees again. Activate your feet and open your arm to the side. Now inhale and bring both legs to your left, and lengthen and come back slowly to the opposite side and lengthen and bring it back and back to the center so keep breathing here and do it really slow with your own breath 10 times in total now always try to keep your hips 90 degree your knees 90 degree when you bring your bend your knees back and when you do that make sure you stabilize your hips your torso here pull the belly button down and keep breathing, inhale, feel your oblique up twisting to the other side and come back and six more times each side here with your own breath, inhale, lengthen, exhale, back to the center and five to the other side, four, belly button in very good. And three, keep breathing to the other side. Two. And last one, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, bend, and come back to your opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center. Feet down, shake your hips, inhale, dip it to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right now you need to allow yourself to open your arms to the side again press your feet down so one foot distance from your heel to your hips and open your legs to be the part now draw your hips all the way up one more time now this time i want you to really engage your core here and open your arms up to the ceiling now i want you to keep your arms together you can even interlace your fingers here now inhale bring your arms over your head try to reach your hips as high as you can so a straight line from your knees to your hips and your shoulders here and then lift your arms up so just stabilize your whole body except your arms your arms is moving soften your elbows a little bit and eight come back seven pull the belly button in six engage your core as much as possible and five very good four press your whole feet down keep your legs parallel your hips stabilized and balanced three two and last one squeeze your booty muscles and lengthen your arms again and slowly bring your hips down each vertebra at a time, shake your hips and then open your arm to the side keep your knees and keep your elbows at 90 degree here and now lift your arms up just above the mat here and I want to inhale, inhale and flex your arms towards the front and then towards the back engage your core as much as possible here now if you want to work your core at the same time just lift your legs up or even lengthen your legs to the front pull the belly button in and make sure you don't arch your back just Keep your back in neutral position. So we're gonna do it five more times with your own breath. Four, belly button in, really listen to your body. Bend your knees if you feel like it's easier for your lower back. Three, and two. Now last one, 
and slowly hug your knees to your chest. Shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, lengthen your legs all the way up and dorsiflex with your feet. Lengthen your arms up to the ceiling, palms facing each other. Now, I want you to inhale and slowly open your arms to the side and your legs to the side and then come back at the same time. And nine, keep breathing, stabilize your torso. Pull the belly button in. Eight, seven, and six, and five, four, belly button in. Three, try to keep your feet activated. Two, and the last one. And slowly bring it back to the center. Bend your knees, bend both elbows and knees at 90 degree here. So your lower legs and your lower arms parallel to the floor. Now activate your feet and I want you to inhale, lengthen both arms and legs at the opposite way and then come back, squeezing the thighs, inhale. And exhale, engage your core and stabilize your torso, lengthen and then bring it back. And nine, pull the belly button in, eight, seven, keep breathing here with your own breath, and six, five, very good, four, squeezing the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles here, three, two, now last one, and I want you to hug your knees to your chest, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply to your mouth, now I want you to slowly bring your legs up to 90 degrees again and activate your feet again. Now I want you to keep your elbows towards each other and even stick to each other if you can. Now inhale and lengthen one leg and arm towards the front and then come back to your opposite side and back to the center 10 times each side here with your own breath. So keep breathing, inhale and exhale and nine, try to touch your elbows towards each other and touch, actually touch it. So come back in seven, lengthen your arms and your legs to the opposite way. Six, keep breathing, lengthen and come back. And five, reach a little bit further. Four, belly button in to the other side. And three, activate your feet. Stabilize your hips and your neutral, your hips neutral, your back in neutral position. Beautiful. And two more times each side here. Inhale and exhale to your opposite side. And the last one. Lengthen, back, the other side and back. And up your knees to your chest. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to lean on one side to do psychic series. So, hands support your head and then Hand, the other hand in front of your chest here. Lengthen your legs all the way towards the front. Now activate your feet and lift your legs just above the hips. Dorsiflex with your feet here and start to make a little pull. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax the shoulders here. Now inhale, lift as high as you can. Belly button in. I say bring it down. I want you to squeeze in your thighs when you bring your leg down. Just above the hips. And then lift it up again and then come back. And eight more times with your own breath. Seven, keep breathing. And six, five, pull the belly button in. Four, inhale and exhale. Three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your legs all the way down and bend your knees to 90 degree here. Now activate your feet, keep your back in neutral and shoulder released, relaxed. And I wanted to inhale, open your legs as wide as you can and lengthen, come back and close, squeezing the thighs. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, come back, engage your core and contract your pelvic floor muscles at the same time. And slowly bring it back to the center eight more times here with your own breath. Pull the belly button in seven. And exhale, come back six. Try to open as wide as you can and five. Try to reach as far as you can. Activate your foot all the time. And four, belly button in, three, two, you can always rest your head on your hand if you need to, last one. And slowly bring it back to the center, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, 
and exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, and now I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your top leg to the front, dorsiflex with your feet, and then slowly inhale and start to bring it to the front and then bring it back to the back. Now again, inhale and exhale, try to lengthen and keep your leg parallel to the floor all the time, and then bring it back eight more times here with your own breath. So keep breathing, seven, stabilize your torso, press both palms down to the mat, six, squeeze in the thighs, and five, four, belly button all the way in, three, keep breathing, and two more times here, inhale, and exhale, and the last one, and slowly bring your legs down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, and to the other side, to the psychic series on the other side here. All right. And now I want you to allow yourself to keep your hands, support your head. And both legs to the other, to the front of the mat. Relax your shoulders here, pull the belly button in. And now the other hand in front of your chest. Lift your leg up just above the hips, dorsiflex. Start to make a little pull. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lift it as high as you can. Come back. Inhale and exhale and up and down and eight more times with your own breath keep breathing seven pull the belly button in six and five four good three try to reach as high as you can and bring it down with control two and the last one lift and slowly bring your legs down and now bend your knees here both knees at the same time. Now I want you to inhale and open your leg as high as you can. Lengthen, come back and down. Inhale, open and lengthen. Exhale, come back and close. Squeezing the thighs. Contract your pubic floor muscles here. Inhale, exhale eight more times with your own breath. So keep breathing. Seven, inhale, open and lengthen. Exhale, come back and down. Six, keep breathing here with your own breath. And five, lengthen. Four, belly button in. And three, squeeze your thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscles here. Two. Now last one, open and come back and slowly bring it down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and now the next movement, just lengthen your leg, dorsiflex with your foot here and then start to Kick your leg towards the front and bring it back. Again, just keep your top leg above the hips and then parallel to the floor all the time. Inhale and exhale and eight more times. Stay with your own breath. So keep breathing and lengthen and come back. Seven, belly button all the way in and six, five, four, three, squeeze in the thighs two and last one and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and slowly allow yourself to sit up open your legs wider as much as you can dorsiflex with your feet and now walk your hands all the way towards the front stretch your hamstrings here pull the belly button in inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and roll your hands to your one side. Feel your hamstring is stretching to your opposite side. And back to the center. Cross your leg. And I want to lengthen your spine, hands on your knees here. Shake your heels a little bit and then articulate your spine. Look up. And ride your spine, chin to chest. Few more times, see with your own breath. Pull the belly button in. And ride your spine. And back to the center, lengthen your spine. Now inhale, bring your head to one side. You can use your hand to pull a little bit further so you feel the side of your neck stretching. And then come back to your opposite side. And one more time, each, each side. You're with your own breath to the other side. And back to the center and bring your head down, chin to chest here. And then look up and down and up. And rotate your head around your neck and reverse 
and back to the center one more time. Inhale and exhale to the other side and back to the center. Rotate your head to one side and to the other side and slowly bring it back. Now rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth and slowly again inhale and exhale and slowly open your eyes and we just completed day two thank you so much for joining me today and i hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna see you tomorrow bye